Next, install the cable tension monitor. Precise positioning of the cable tension monitor is critical for the opener's correct operation. It is preferable, but not required, for the cable tension monitor to be mounted on the same side as the opener. If required, the roller may be switched to the opposite side by removing the E-ring. Examine the diagrams in the manual to determine if your garage needs additional preparation. For example, this installation required the mounting surface to be built out, so the cable tension monitor would allow the door to close properly. Position the cable tension monitor so the roller can rest over the garage door cable. Position the roller so it is aligned with the drum two to six inches below the torsion bar. Mark the location of the mounting holes. Drill pilot holes on each mark if necessary. Note that a solid surface is required for mounting. If a stud or header cannot be located behind the mounting area, use the supplied drywall anchors. Attach with the hardware provided. Make sure the cable tension monitor roller is on top of the cable. Once mounted, the door should open and close freely without the cable tension monitor obstructing its travel. Run the wire to the opener and connect it to the quick connect terminals as outlined in the manual. Note that the color of these quick connect terminals on your opener will be green and differ from the prototype shot for this video. The cable tension monitor must be installed in order for the opener to close the door, and the cable must have tension throughout the entire travel of the door. Make sure there is no slack in the cable